In this video, you will learn what a clear coat scratch is, how a clear coat scratch is permanently removed, how to do the fingernail test to determine if you need touch up paint, learn what a borderline clear coat scratch is, what to use for simple touch ups, and the dab and smear technique for the best looking touch ups on a long key scratch or lots of scrapes in the same area, like in bumpers. Now, if you just have clear coat scratches, and they don't require touch-up paint, you need the Ultimate Car Scratch Remover System Original. However, if you have deep scrapes and scratches that require touch-up paint, you'll want the Ultimate Car Scratch Remover bundled with the Custom Touch-Up Paint Kit. It will take care of any scratch you will ever come across, and the two are designed to work together to deliver the ultimate professional-looking results and they have not penetrated to the color base layer primer or metal or plastic. Now the reason why they look white is because think about a diamond. A diamond has facets and reflects light. When you scratch the clear coat on the surface of your car it's clear you're creating a facet essentially and it's reflecting light. That's why clear coat scratches look so terrible on dark colored cars. Now what you're doing when you're removing and fixing scratches that are limited to the clear coat, you're actually blending them in so that you get a flat surface again. So we're removing those facets that are picking up and reflecting light. That's all there is to it. That is exactly what's happening when you're removing a scratch from the clear coat. The fingernail test is a good quick test to determine the severity of your scratch. You would take your fingernail and just run it across and if you cannot feel it, chances are it can be completely and permanently removed. It means if you can't feel it, it's just in the clear coat surface. Now, if you can feel it, the chances are that it's actually too deep. It may not have penetrated to the color, but it's too deep to adequately remove and flatten out like we saw in the previous slide to bring to the level of the surrounding paint you would actually end up making things worse by trying to remove it so in that case and we'll get into this later if it was too deep to actually remove you would be doing some type of a touch up paint procedure so I just want to show you this is the core way to take care of a and remove permanently a typical clear coat scratch. Heavy shrubbery uh, scratches. They did pass the uh, fingernail test. So in step one, we're essentially we're polishing uh, the scratches out. And in this, this was from one of my demonstration videos. So I actually had a piece of paper up there that showed the before and after what you see on the left hand side. So step two is a glaze and the glaze does not, the glaze step does not remove scratches. It just brings out the depth and clarity of the paint and it removes any super micro marring that's left from the polish or the uh, microfiber towel itself. And then finally step number three, applying a quality automotive sealant to the finish to keep newly restored paint finish protected. So now we come to a category of scratches that I call borderline clear coat scratches and they can be deceiving. So you might not feel them when you do the fingernail test because they're really thin but they're a little bit deeper but they're so thin that your fingernail doesn't detect them. And for this type of scratch polish alone will not remove it you might remove some of it, you might diminish some of it, but it still will be there. Typically they require a 3000 grit wet sanding procedure. So wet sanding with ordinary wet sandpaper that you would buy at the hardware store or at an automotive supply place can be pretty tricky. However, the ultimate car scratch remover system solves this problem with a patented 3000 grit wet sanding sponge. It's awesome. It's simple and safe and designed for professionals. However, it's extremely easy to use even if you're a beginner. And it's going to give you jaw dropping results for those borderline clear coat scratches. So let's take a look at a borderline clear coat scratch. We've got this fender and something was 
drug across it. You can see there in the before pictures, it's a, a fairly large area. This isn't just one uh, scratch, it's a whole series of scratches. So step one is a safety sand 3000 grit sponge. It's used with a lubricating spray and the area is burnished. If you've never wet sanded a car, you might freak out about you know doing something like this, but I'm telling you that this is designed for beginners and it's extremely safe when you follow the direction. Step number two, we're polishing out the burnish that was left there from the safety sand. Step number three, we're applying the glaze to bring out the depth and the clarity of the paint and remove any super micro marring that's left in the polish and the towel, the microfiber towel itself. And then again, step four, applying the sealant to the newly refinished paint. And you can see here the before and after, it's really dramatic. So let's talk about very deep scratch. Now here on this blue car, we've got the typical key scratch, like I said, shopping cart basket, you know, who knows, a kid with a bicycle, um, and now this is running the whole length of the door, and it is too deep to actually remove uh, from the clear coat. It's going to require touch-up paint. And now this image is uh, a gas door on a car, on a black car. This happens, you know, if you open up the gas door and you've got your keys and stuff in your hand and you're trying to do a couple different things at the same time. So what you have in an extremely deep scratch is the scratch is actually penetrated through the clear coat and into the color layer. Sometimes it can even go to all the way down to the metal or plastic. But typically, um, you know, it's going in a color layer. But it doesn't matter. You still handle a touch-up paint repair exactly the same whether it goes down to metal or plastic or it just only penetrates to the color layer. You'll fill up the scratch with touch-up paint that's the color of the car and you're doing this to camouflage the scratch and uh, there's some tricks to to visually camouflage it and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So here we have the automotive specific micro-tipped touch-up paint brush this is designed, the little um, ball that's on the end there is designed to pick up a certain amount of paint to make a precision touch-up. And then this is a common ordinary uh, artist brush with a really fine tip. It's a little more difficult to use than the automotive, the micro tip brush because um, it picks up or can pick up a lot of paint so it takes a little bit more practice uh, what usually happens is you get too much paint on an artist brush and then you end up with too much paint on your chip or scratch and then you need to uh, start over again. This is without a doubt the best way to handle long key scratches and most in my opinion almost any kind of a touch up paint repair that you want to do that you really want to refine. So in step number one we're actually just taking a gloved finger and dipping it in a container with our touch up paint and you can see in step two here that it's just smeared into the scratch and pretty minimal. You want to keep it pretty fine. You want to have the excess as minimal as possible on either side because we're actually going to, here in step number three, we're going to remove all the excess. So all this left is the paint that's in the scratch itself and this is without a doubt the best way to visually camouflage any kind of a deep scratch or chip and it, it happens to be the technique that mobile professionals use when they would come out to your car and, and charge you a pretty good amount of money not as much as a body shop would to refinish a whole panel but they still charge quite a bit for doing this the cool thing is is this is the easiest technique to do and the cool part is you can redo this technique on a scratch as many times as you wish without harming the surrounding finish so uh, practice makes perfect if you don't get it perfect the first time you can remove all the paint and you can apply the paint and dab and smear and you can level it and uh, do it as many times as it takes so let's recap for a minute so there are three core steps to removing a scratch you want to polish, you want to apply a glaze, and then you apply the sealant to protect the newly restored finish. And then there are two alternate steps. 
You might need wet sanding for borderline clear coat scratches, or if you've got a really severe scratch, you're going to have to apply touch-up paint. So here's my final thoughts on how to approach removing a scratch or doing touch-up paint repairs on your vehicle. First, you want to clean the area. Then you want to inspect visually and do the fingernail test. Then you'll select a technique. And then I always recommend to try polish first before moving to wet sanding, even if it doesn't, uh, even if it doesn't pass the fingernail test. I always try polish on a small portion of the scratch just to see how it's going to respond. And then finally, touch-up paint repairs. So this is the pro secret. Touch-up paint repairs will always look nicer if the area is polished prior to applying touch-up paint. So congratulations, you have a much clearer idea of how to remove scratches or do touch-up paint repairs on your vehicle.